I love eyes, I'm very good at eyes. They are windows to the soul. There's a contrast between the colored pencil and acrylic paint artwork of Aaron Williams. And the fact in person, Aaron finds eye contact difficult. Loneliness is something that I've struggled with my whole life. Pretty bad social anxiety, and still do. What helps is the art. It became a way for me to connect with people. But two years ago, the loneliness became too much. With the COVID shutdowns, Aaron's once busy city was so often empty. Work was suddenly from home. It was a forced isolation. The addiction just spun totally out of control. It was alcohol and narcotics. I knew I was dying and I did not want to die. Aaron knew. There was somewhere they had to go. Aaron entered Alcohol and Drug Treatment Center, Cumberland Heights. They were taken by something printed on the front of a handbook. Addiction is a disease of isolation. I had to have other people or I did not have a chance. For someone with social anxiety, the group sessions weren't easy, but they had to make this work. But maybe someone could help. <laughs> yes, Teague helped a lot. Yep, that's Teague. A recovery dog for Cumberland Heights. Come here, Teague. Uh, everybody loves him. He is the bomb.com. Can you high five? Okay. Hi, okay. yeah. buddy. Teague is here for emotional support. <laughs> oh, everybody wants to, to take him home. You know, they have to fight me to get him out of here. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? He's the best bud of everyone here. But for Aaron, Teague is actually something even more. Teague made it a lot easier to be with people. It's just a, such a huge source of stress relief and um, love. This is supposed to capture what's happening in an addict's and an alcoholic's brain when they're exhibiting extreme thinking. And then on the left over here is that state of clarity. Now, Erin doesn't do portraits of anyone they know. Well, except for this time that like intense level of attention to detail to capturing him. It was a bit at connecting to the staff and the other people who were here with me by illustrating something that we all love. Oh, you're loving life today, aren't you? <laughs> T, come here, buddy. One of the most important things I've learned in recovery so far is that even though I'm not the person that I want to be today, I can still love the person that's sitting here. I am a year and three months sober now. It was a massive thank you to the people who made it possible. Oh. <laughs> so in this portrait, what do those eyes say? It says, I'm here for you. I'm going to be here no matter what.